Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set a new console ID if your original PS3 console ID gets banned. So if you get banned from PSN and you've got to set a new console ID, I'll show you a couple of a couple of ways to do that. Now you can use PSN patch, SCN enabler, Iris Man, and there's, there's probably other packages and stuff out there that you can use. But today I'm going to just show you how to use Webman and CC API because in my opinion they're the best two to use. You can use them on all custom firmware, providing that like Webman has to be a Cobra custom firmware. Obviously, CC API works with all firmware. But what what the advantage of using those two is is when you start you, you, when you start your PS3, they will set the PS3 at boot up, so that so once you've told Webman to set the CID, every time you turn your PS3 on, Webman will set the CID, and the same with CC API. If you set the boot ID, PS and PS ID. Every time you turn the PS3 on, it will set the console ID. So it saves you having to mess about with anything like PSN patch, where you have to go in every time you start the PS3 or reboot it. So it just makes everything a lot easier. So with Webman, you, you can connect to Webman from your PC. So if you type in the IP address, so as you can see in the bottom right, mine's 192.168.0.23. So if you say if you open up Google Chrome or any browser on your PC and you type in your PS3's IP address and press enter, you will be able to connect to Webman, providing that you've got Webman installed on your PS3. Uh, you'll be able to connect to Webman from PC, so you'll be able to set the console ID from there, which makes it a, a bit easier. And once you've done it that one time, you don't have to connect again. But uh, I mean, you can you can do it from your mo mobile phone and stuff. Pretty much any browser you can connect. So once you've typed in the IP address into the browser and press enter, it will bring you to this PS3 setup page, um, which will but but it'll be on your PC, so you'll be able to just copy and paste it. I mean, if you if you're patient, you can just come in here, tick ID PS and PS ID, select these boxes, type in your new ID PS and PS ID click on save and then every time you boot the PS3 webman will set the console ID for you um, so yeah so that's webman and CC API so with CC API I'm going to just run through the whole installation process so with CC API you need to have it on your PC obviously you need to have it on your PS3 if you've already got it all set up and it connects then sorry but I was you know I just wanted to do this just to show people like you have you have to have CC API installed on your actual PS3 not just have the package on there but actually installed so as you can see there it says this program will install in in between the star the star um, symbols uh, so click yes there you go so the console will reboot so CC API is now installed on the PS3 um, and that's that's very important you have to have CC API installed on there obviously to connect from PC so what I'll do is I'll set my PC up and I'll show you how to actually set the CID from PC using uh, CC API and I'll quickly show Webman as well. Okay, so I'm back over on PC. So I'll show you Webman first. So if you want to connect to Webman, you just type in your PS3's IP address in this bar at the top. Press enter. And then as you can see, it opens up into Webman. Just click on setup. And then, as you can see, it's the same layout as it is on the PS3. Then, if you check ID, PS, and PS ID, and then you should have a new ID, PS, and a new PS ID. So, literally, if you just copy and then paste it into there, paste your new CID into here, and then scroll down, click Save, and click click here for restart and then it will set you a new console ID so that's how to do it with CC with webman so I'll show you now how to do it with CC API so what you want to do is if you connect to your PS3 so you have to be connected go to console IDs paste your new console ID in paste your new PS ID in and then you want to click set boot ID PS and set boot PS ID now when you click it, see it will say your boot ID PS has been changed 
boot PS ID has been changed. So then every time you reboot your PS3 or start it up, CCAPI will set your new console ID for you. So I'll just reset that because I don't want my CID to be all ones. Um, yeah, so if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll get to you.